All right. Uh, they can yeah. hear us, but they can't. Welcome listen. to the underground. <laughs> no, How we get copyright struck for that. Welcome to the underground. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Grant. I think you're echoing. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> All right. If you want to look around, we'll we'll take a minute. Let's How are, are your here. balls? No. <laughs> Oh my it's god. It's 2015, right? It's under. Is, is, uh. How is... are your balls? <laughs> no. Every time we talk, more and more people join the call. <laughs> is, uh. What? Uh. No, I was gonna say, is. It's 2015, so technically Undertale is out in, in our universe, right? So true. <laughs> Undersnail. Gundertale. Blundersnail. <laughs> Everything is different except Undertale, which is always called Undertale. <laughs> but it's spelled different. It's spelled like T-A-I-L. No. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. September 15th. Oh my god, guys. What's the what's the Japanese school year start date? Uh, It starts April 1st, so Undertale isn't even out yet. <laughs> no. We're not, we're not following literally, so it's out. I've I've decided as the DM and ruler of this universe that Undertale released early to critical acclaim, and now Toby Fox is heralded as a god. He's been Toby a... Fox's quirk, Undertale, <laughs> produces the game. No, his quirk is is banger. He just makes banger sounds. <laughs> the the regular game is just like his normal ability. He can he's quirk? he just is. Quirk Sands. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Quirk. <School. laughs> His ability makes a shitty game with good visual. <laughs> uh, all right. Toby Fox's Quirk is Sands Undertale. He can just turn into Sands. He doesn't have any of Sands' abilities. Oh, in this world, Delta Rune came out first. <laughs> uh. Toby Fox's quirk is Sans. He just, he just looks like Sans. This is the first time I'm learning this takes place in 2015 canonically. Not nebulous in the near future like My Hero. No, I, I, isn't My Hero supposed to be like 2015, 2016? No. What? When is it then? Yeah, Shay. When is it? I thought it was like like 2080 or something. They, they never oh, say. Bull. There's no way that it's that far in the future. And they don't it's have just a. It they have like the same level of tech and stuff because when Quirks emerged, it like oh it halted everything. It kind of like halted civilization for a bit. Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen is the one that takes place in 2015. That's right. Oh my god. Why? It's because they needed to have like a set date so they could like, like with like Shibuya it takes place on a literal day because it's October 31st, like 2015. Okay, so in near true. future is awesome because for the longest time I've thought I've been kind of limiting Ryunosuke to games that were coming out in like 2015 and you guys from buying games that came out. So now games are always available. That's awesome. That's literally so Wait. amazing. I also gave Ryunosuke Breath of the Wild, so I guess they're canonically we haven't even been oh, following yeah. that. haven't even been following my own rules. Yeah, 20xx, that's what we'll say. All right. Let's uh Turn off is starting soon, so people can see us. He has Breath of the Wild too. <laughs> um, it's called Tears of the Kingdom. It's isn't it? Is it actually? Yeah. Yeah. Remember they? Come on, Nintendo. They used it's called Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Get off your high horse. No, they they had to they had to delay the name drop because it came out the day after the queen died. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, but that's not their fault. No, no, no. It, 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 they delayed it specifically in in England. Which doesn't make sense, right? Because they can just get information other, where, oh other places than England, but... <laughs> Jay makes such a good point. The reason that you guys can't buy anything that's new is because Homer is, uh, like, the place she works sells out of all the new games. <laughs> yeah. You can only buy games that... It's like a second-hand store. Yeah. It's just shit. It's one of those the retro games. does not shops. have a lot of money. He can only buy, like, two games. <laughs> Sells them for <laughs> marginally increased prices. Sells them as if they were full price games. Alright. Uh, so last I suppose week, we should actually get started. Yeah, last <laughs> week you guys were introduced to Mitsuru Rei, who very reluctantly took his seat and rejoined the class. 
Uh, there's a bit of chatter that goes on as Clean Knight's preparing his uh, little tasks for the day. Um, you've gotten through the, of course, roll call that's been stunted by Nanashi having to reintroduce herself to Clean Knight because he refuses, and not not meaningfully, but refuses to somehow see her every morning and nearly marks her absent. Um, but as everything comes kind of to... Uh, like the start line, he stands back in front of the class and, and shuffles his paper. Who's echoing? I think it's Alex. <laughs> uh, he sh yeah. Sorry, it's okay. Uh, he shuffles his papers together uh, and asks the class, "All right, kids. Now I'm sure you've heard of hundreds of them over the years, but who can tell me, as simple as it is, what a hero name is?" Uh, and you see, like. A majority of the class raised their hand. Does anyone in the back row raise their hand? I'll raise my hand. Yeah. All right. Uh, he scrolls through. You can see uh, Tsuyoshi is, like, literally almost out of his seat, like, about to jump, like, raising his hand. The whole front line uh, has raised his hand. Akihiko's got his hand up, and he looks like, after he's got it up, he, he like, forgets the question and puts it back down. Uh, and he scrolls through all of his amazing students, his very well calm students. Uh, and he goes, Mr. Ojiro, would you please tell us what a hero name is? Uh, well, it's a moniker that a hero goes by when uh, performing as a, their duties as a hero. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, amazing. Um, do you know what hero names are supposed to do? Or at least their purpose towards the hero? Um, <laughs> uh, smoke comes out of his ears. Uh, that's alright. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Ichigo, uh, and Tsuyoshi, oh, like, it, uh, it's a hero name is supposed to come and, and portray the, ability, the hero's power. Uh, and he goes on to explain in like a rush, like nearly like out of breath, that a hero's name is supposed to inflict uh, oh. like a calming uh, emotion onto not only the people they're saving or the people they're here to save. It's supposed to represent them as a hero uh, with its deep-seated lore, supposedly uh, like allowing people to know a lot about the hero just from first hearing from them or first seeing them uh and as he finishes up he like is like catching his breath and uh you can see clean it like thank you Tsuyoshi please take a breath so as we've said the importance of hero names it goes a lot longer and a lot farther than just being what you are called a hero name is supposed to show the public who you are through a simple name uh, it's not going to, of course, get your whole character through, through just a simple word. Some choose two, some choose multiple, though the longer they are, the harder they are to understand and articulate. Uh, let's get some examples. And he starts to, like, pull out his chalk, uh, and he asks, uh, give me a hero name example. And you hear, of course, a few of the kids yell out, All Might! Uh, and as he's dragging his, his uh, piece of chalk down, you see it almost like crack on the board. Uh, and he goes, yes, I assume that is a good example. Uh, and he writes out All Might, uh, and he dissects the word. He, all Might. He is almighty. He is all of the might you may need for a situation. It's a name that puts you at ease. You need not worry that anything further bad will happen. The name itself, especially with the renown that he has accrued, is supposed to inflict a sense of calm and justice all of the might that anyone could ever need uh is all within him uh another name please please uh i'm gonna raise my hand <laughs> mr kobanai uh ultra lord <laughs> <laughs> uh clean Knight, like looks at you a little quizzically and he goes uh ichiro is that a hero the Japanese organization? I'm not familiar. Are, are they a foreign hero? Uh, whatever. Uh, he begins to write it out loud and or write it out loud. You can hear the yeah, scratches. Yeah, yeah. He's like erasing and rewriting it. He's he's writing it in like English 
uh, Ultra Lord. Um, but I can assume <laughs> that this is someone of a high level of command when they take on He's the field. the strongest. Ah, I see. I'm sorry to say I have never heard of him. But, again, this name implies some level of power that is not yet available until he arrives. Ultra, meaning someone who is, or at least in this case, uh, Ultra is an extreme, or uh, very extreme. And then Lord, someone who is in control, someone who is commanding. It is someone or something that has power, authority, or influence, a master or ruler. In a situation where you may need someone to take control of a disaster, this is exactly what someone may want to hear. Uh, Miss Yoshino, I saw you raise your hand a moment ago. Crust. Crust. Uh, yes, uh, crust, as you may know, is <laughs> a form of hard outer layer. When it comes to something that you may want to protect, you would want a hard outer layer. Say it's from a rain of or fall of something somewhat particularly heavy or a projectile that you may want blocked. Someone you may want by your side is crust. Uh, anyone else? Uh, uh, you see, um, Alina raise her hand and she mentions Mirko, uh, and, uh, like, immediately puts her hand down, uh, and, like, looks down at her desk. And Kleena goes, perfect, uh, though this may be a little bit contrived, though names don't always convey what they need to in the moment, dissecting them further provides a lot more insight onto the hero themselves. Does anyone know where Miss Mirko's n name comes from? Uh, and he, like, gestures to the room. Uh, it's because she's a rabbit. <laughs> Mr. Kobanai, do you know what Mirko means? <clears throat> rabbit. No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> Though I applaud your attempt. Mirko is actually inspired by a mixed martial arts fighter of old days in... Before Quarked Times, Mirko was the name of a mixed martial artist, something that she clearly takes inspiration from. Now, this is supposed to convey her adaptability uh, to certain situations that require physical combat. This is supposed to highlight her ability to adapt to fighting. Uh, so, now, moving forward, now that you have gone over it... You've got an idea of what the makeup of a hero name is supposed to be. I would like for you guys uh, to brainstorm for a little bit. And he goes on to explain uh, a few more hero names. He he draws out some Mentos, uh, uh, Present Mike, Midnight, um, Snipe. Uh, what are some other hero names that you guys would like to have dissected in class? Backdraft. Backdraft, another great one. Uh, Mr. Ojiro, you've been rather quiet. Uh, Edshot. Edshot, another great one. We have other amazing heroes that work here, such as Hound Dog or Thirteen, Lunch Rush, and Recovery Girl. These names, while not necessarily names you'd hear in situations of dire straits, names that if we're heard in other situations, such as in times of great famine or in times of intense pain or, or even, and he goes on to explain, like, uh, like severe health problems, these names would bring you comfort knowing that uh, help is on the way. And hearing them for the first time, uh, you do get a sense of, like, what they could be. But knowing who they are and hearing them further is a, a greater sense of relief when you hear them, when you have met All Might, and, you know, you've seen his power in in its, you know, strength. When you meet Endeavor and you understand what he is capable of, and then you're in future situations where you think, you know, I need a hero. And you hear those names like, Endeavor's here, or, oh my gosh, it's All Might. You're immediately put at ease because you know what that is. If, if you were to hear a name drawn out, you know, it may take you a moment to remember. And people struggle with names, whereas, you know, uh, you know, nicknames or hero names are a lot easier to understand and remember. Uh, and this lesson goes on for a couple more minutes. Uh, he starts 
wanting you guys to draft up ideas in your head. You don't have to write it down, but uh, of hero names for yourself, uh, for others, if you have, like, things that you had in mind. Uh, he wants you to get a genre of name, and it first requires that you guys understand what kind of hero you may want to be. Uh, so, for example, he, he gestures over to uh, Amara, who he has discussed with in prior times. She does not want to be a hero that shows up and fights and, and takes care of the bad guys. She wants to be a hero who shows up uh, to help evacuate or to help people escape or to recover if they're hurt uh, or just to overall rec like you know save the mood or, or make them feel like there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, that would require her to take on a level of understanding on what her names could mean when said out loud, where if you were, say, uh, to have a name like Clown Girl, uh, it gives a sense of wonderment, a, a sense of excitement. Uh, there's, when you're, you know, being attacked by a, a villain and you hear that Clown Girl is here, you're not thinking, oh, great, the strong and courageous and valiant hero Clown Girl. But if there is a, like, 16-car pileup uh, and kids are crying and there's, you know, in, people in danger or hurt, you know, hearing Clown Girl may be just a little bit more calming than hearing that Endeavor is on the scene. Uh, and the lesson goes on for a little bit more uh, before you hear the familiar sound of a school bell uh, to dismiss you guys for lunch. Uh, and with that... I'm taking you guys over uh, to the lunchroom. Um, yeah, did, do you guys have any ideas uh, of what kinds of heroes you'd like to be? Um, I think so. I think I'd like to do, like, rescue missions more. Okay. Um, you guys head all over to the lunchroom. And it's it's the same amount of packed it's always been. Um, today on the menu you have Polish food, Croatian food, and Nigerian food. Um, for the Polish food, you have uh, I Bart's Uskami soup uh, or Little Ear soup. It's a mushroom-based soup, or it's a it's almost like a borscht. Uh, Zurek, which is another soup uh, popular in West Slavic states. It's a rye meal soup with, uh, like, sausage, bacon, or ham. It's, got, it's creamy and smoky, and it has garlic in it, uh, as well as there's, like, some uh, hard-boiled eggs. Uh, and then there is, like, wild mushrooms that have been cooked up uh, and served with some sauces. Uh, there is Polish uh, frutil. Don't ever, you know, hold me to that, but there battered donut balls dusted with or no, no wait sorry sorry that's uh the dessert for that but it's powdered donut balls as well as uh gregada which is a uh, cooked fish scorpion fish or grouper uh chopped into large chunks into a pot and sliced with potatoes uh, an east pod peck which is uh or no sorry that's a method there's uh tr where is it Kulin sausage and Istrian truffles, which are just like, uh, a, there's cheese, sausage, and truffles laid out for kind of like a faux charcuterie board available um, for the Croatian food. And then of the Nigerian food, there is the puff puff, which is sweet deep fried dough in their little uh, desserts area. A gegi bread or a gigi bread, um, which is a versatile dish of white bread um, that's denser than most bread you'd usually get with uh, some soup and broth that you can dip through an ogbono soup uh, which is mango seed soup uh, a soup that you can really just customize with different things that you can throw in uh, and dip uh, different accommodating foods into it and eat all of these are just a very easy to grab and, and put together and uh, mix and match. Um, you can see now that there is actually like a few tables available. Uh, and through some of them you can see uh, Tsukara, Akihiko, and Rory sitting together. Uh, 
there's Elias, Shingo, uh, and Mitsuru. Um, some of the students that you're with, like in class, are just nowhere to be seen. Uh, and then there's Hitori, Alina, and Tsuyoshi all sitting together. <clears throat> but I will say, as you're crabbing your food, Kosuke, you look over and you can see like over next to the trash can uh, on like a table that has like two seats. And as you're looking over there, someone walks over and takes a seat away. Uh, it's just like Ryunosuke sitting and eating uh, in a packed lunch. <laughs> Do you guys want to go sit with Ryunosuke? Yeah, sure, why not? He seems a bit lonely. <laughs> All right. Uh and then perp, yeah. Perp, perp, perp. yeah, you guys uh grab Yeah, we waddle on over. All right. Do you guys grab food first or are you just going to sit first? I want some literally or soup. I want that mushroom. Mm, I'm going to grab mushrooms. all the mushroom stuff. All right. All the mushroom stuff. Uh, the borscht and, like, mixed mushrooms with sauce. Uh, I, I will also get borscht. Borscht. Uh, yeah. As you... So, so yeah, I should ask. Are you all walking over together? Yeah, we're, like, strutting in, in line. Uh, okay. <laughs> in the line? <laughs> uh, Who's first? <laughs> me yeah uh as kosuke it's a, it goes by height yeah <laughs> like smallest to biggest yeah all right is is homeless taller than kosuke uh, she might be i don't remember we can actually check the official art page <laughs> because, oh yeah true uh, the is... official my hero 1c art <laughs> it found in our discord uh join Homura... our discord <laughs> shut school uh, Homer Join is the a... Discord. Join the Discord. Homura is 162 centimeters, and Kosuke is 171. Okay. Uh, so, oh. but yeah, I assume Kosuke is first, uh, just off of the principality of being his friend. Uh, Kosuke, as you approach, you see uh, Ryunosuke turn to you. Uh, and they smile. They like legitimately look happy. Uh, they like. Cl There's nothing on the table. Other than like maybe crumbs left behind, and they they sweep it off. They pick up their lunchbox, sweep the table, and then as they see uh, behind you like the looming horns and bright red <laughs> hair, uh, their face gets a little bit more like pale, uh, and they look around like they're going to get up and leave, but it's already a little too late. Uh, and as you approach, uh, they just like kind of look down at their lunch. Uh, and give you subtle glances left uh, left and right, like looking over at you and looking back at their lunch. Uh, and they give you the like, hey. What's up, man? Nothing. Well, yeah, I can see that much. Just eating. Eating. <laughs> uh, this. And you, open, you can see it's a, it's a Mario lunchbox, like those metal ones. Uh, and they pull it open, and it's like the it's white rice, uh, and then just uh, a shit ton of like karage, just fried little fried chicken, uh, and it's like ch as if it was like just dip. Like you could see the leftover packet uh, of like the tiny little lemon that he squeezes out, or they squeeze over it, uh, and the the chopsticks are also Mario, but they have little like red and green mushrooms at the tips of them on the the grip uh as well as like the chopstick help like you know those little things that you uh use to help yourself grip chopsticks yeah they have got one of those wow that's tactical <laughs> you don't you don't like to try the stuff every day no i don't like this food here no oh. Is Mario your favorite game? I love Mario. Uh, all of the... Bl Wait. Blintendo. <laughs> I love Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, I have to ask. Super like, Luigi Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Do we... What? Well, do, you love, do you love him? Do you love him? <laughs> <laughs> he... Are you in love with Mario? <laughs> uh... 
the question like completely sails over them. Uh, they're like, I, I love Blario. <laughs> I don't even know what to call him. I guess we just kind of have to call him Mario. We all know what we're talking about, but <laughs> the Lario, Lario and Luigi. Yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, I. I I don't mind if we just come up with the joke name once and then just refer to it as normal, because it's, it's we're gonna... a little difficult. Yeah. I love Mario. It's one of my favorite series. I love all the Nintendo games, too. I have all of... He starts pulling out uh, his, like, DS case, and he pulls it open, and you can see uh, there's five... The uh, rows, and each row has five games, and each row is the same game, uh, for, it, but different on each level. So there's the first game that came out on DS, uh, Lario Kart, Lario Party, uh, and they're all like just copies of each other. Um, and he has, er, yeah, they have them coded with little stickies uh, for each one. Uh, and then it like flips over, and there's another side, and it's all of the like Switch versions of these games. Uh, and on the other side, there's, Damn. like, yeah, it's it's Zelda on one side. There, it just, like, it's one of those CD cases that you can flip through, but each one is a 25-slot holder, uh, and there is several pages of these with different video games. Homer is pogging. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like it? He's a, a gamer. <laughs> you whisper that to them. <laughs> I'm jealous of you, dude. I'm not. Gonna lie. <laughs> I just imagined Ichiro said it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> He's a gamer. Uh, uh, wow, that's. D do you have to pay for all this? Yeah, but part-time job usually pays for it. Uh, he, it, pulls into his bag and he pulls out three different small, like early edition DS game like DS's do you guys want to wow. play Mario Party yes uh, he wait has... is it is it DS or is it island tour he, oh my god like he he is elated that you asked uh, <laughs> Mario Party and then island tour yeah is that, uh... well, what, one's Mario Party DS the yeah. other is Mario island Party. tour it's it's Mario Party I don't have enough DS, 3DSs for Island Tour. Oh, thank God that came. I don't like it. <laughs> he he doesn't say anything, but uh, can you give me like a a where is it? Can you give me an insight check real quick? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Five. Uh, you can tell that as you say, like, I don't like, uh, and then, like, the game, um, there's, like, a, like, a, a fire behind his eyes, and he doesn't say anything other than, oh, that sucks. <laughs> like, he's holding in some rude comment, uh, and then he looks away, uh, and you see him draw something with his finger into his hand, uh, and then, like, faux eat it. Um, and then turns back to you guys, <laughs> and then he hands each one of you a DS, and asks that, he hands it to Kosuke, first things first, he, he doesn't give you all of them individually, he asks, gives them, all three of them to Kosuke, uh, and asks that you please, like, if you're going to eat, uh, eat after or before you touch them, um, I don't want any leftover food on them, I do a really good job of keeping them clean, I do not want to... And, like, gives you, like, a, a really, really super, like, almost sped up yeah. version of, like, keeping his products clean and not, like, getting your fingerprints on them. Um, yeah, it, uh, sure, man. I, he I get it. He hands each one of you guys, and by that I mean he hands it to Kosuke to give to all of you. Uh, <laughs> there is these little, like, uh, alcohol wipes that he wants you to clean off the DSs with after you're done. <laughs> but do not touch the screens with them. They, you could possibly damage them. Uh, and then he hands Kosuke the, another set of three wipes that are in plastic packages that are like little tissues uh, used for cleaning the screens. Um, there's also, as you get them, they're all on the inside covered in protective plastic wrap cases. So like even if you wanted to, like you couldn't touch the screens. Uh, <laughs> if he would buy a game, people are asking, sorry, this is chat's question. Uh, 
It, what if Game Video Game Boy? His name is Ryunosuke Thank you. Uh, for those wondering, I will. Uh, I can also just get the art of him up. Uh, it's also in the Discord. Um, uh, if Discord. he, yeah. So the way that this boy's quirk works uh, is, if he is to consume a game, be it a disc, a cartridge, uh, a whatever, uh, the only things he can pull out from them are game like inventory items. So if if the character or the player character has a something in its inventory, he can pull it out. So say for Shadow of the Colossus, he would either he just pulls out aggro. Uh, he would either pull out the sword or the bow and arrow. Um, or, I mean, if you have done the time trials, maybe the masks. Um, I know our, our resident also video gamer knows what I'm talking about uh, with these. But, yeah. Devil arms, weapons. <laughs> devil, yeah, Ooh. devil may cry. Uh, yeah. Call of Duty. Yeah. Pull, yeah. Uh, but the adherence to this quirk is that it must follow the physics of the game. These are not things that he can use. Like, like say, uh, if he got one of Dante's weapons, he cannot, you know, freely use it. He must slash. He must use like the physical combos. Um, from I Sonic mean, if the Blade. weapons if the weapons pertain to Devil May Cry, then he he's got some wonky physics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like he can stay in the air for fucking. Ever. Ex yeah, especially, yeah, <laughs> and like, or like with Ifrit, like, uh, just like, charge up and literally punch with fire. Uh, the other thing is, uh, is that it's physically taxing. The stronger the item, the less likely he will be having it for long. Um, he pulls out the Chaos Emeralds, uh, just super, super Ryunosuke. Um, but yeah, so do you guys want to eat first, uh, or do you want to play games? We already ate. Oh, well, I mean, did you sit down? You you, you got to the table with your stuff, uh, and he, or they gave you this. Um, since he didn't, or since they didn't hand me one, I just was eating this whole time. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, th y I'm assuming, or uh, from nearby tables, you guys have pulled uh, chairs closer and as it as it goes i'm assuming like you're all eating on a table meant for two people so all of your stuff is kind of shoved into uh like your your side to side like vertical trays um as you're eating um ryunosuke goes over like a bunch of different things he's just they're just talking at you at this point whether or not you've mentioned that you're listening or shown any uh, nonverbal signs of listening um, oh, someone's asking, does the actual form of the game matter, like cartridge versus disc? No. Uh, there is different ways that he can consume them, but no matter what, as soon as he's done, they are shattered uh, and reduced to, like, ash. Um, you see Ryunosuke being like, oh, uh, one of my favorite mini games, or mini games is Buried Treasure, uh, or honestly, Facelift is pretty fun, oh, but Balloon Burst is really awesome, and, and oh, Skateboard Stomper, and Shy Guy Says, and... Uh, like going over all of these, and you know, you guys have time to just talk amongst yourselves while he's talking. He's not even looking at you at this point. I really like the one where you ground pound through the rocks. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> uh, that is. Is that from where Mario Party 5 yeah, from... or 6? I don't remember. But uh, I, those are just like my two childhood Mario Parties. I don't remember. Uh, well, if it's depending on the mini game. Um, it's the one where you uh, ground pound. They also, sh they also like shared some, but yeah, 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 they all share them. Uh, the ground pound. Is it a? I'm trying to remember. Is it a two v two? Is it a dual? It's four player. Oh, it's a four. player. It's like free for all. It's free for yeah, four player mini game. Yeah. Uh, is it? No, it's not coin cash. Uh... <laughs> I'm searching because he. Oh, is it ground pound down? Probably, I mean, probably. Yeah. Is, it, is it like where you're on the bricks? Uh, are there like purple ones with like fossils in them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Starts going over like all the times that he's played. Uh, Ryunosuke isn't in the official art channel. What? Say. We haven't, what? Yeah, we haven't done he, it yet? No, he is. Uh, in the official oh. art channel, he is the one right above Mitsuru Rei. 
they have long hair, and um, for those who haven't noticed, and, and honestly, uh, for Homura and Ichiro, this is probably your first time seeing them because prior to this conversation, Ryunosuke has never looked uh, you guys in the like eyes. Um, his or their eye, they, I should note, uh, I think this is the first time I'm officially saying it. Oh, hold on. What's going on? Oh, wow. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry, we're what taking a moment here. Uh, that's amazing. I need to go read that because it disappeared way too fast. <laughs> we just received seventy-five dollars, uh, which is oh shit, which Thank is you so one much. million percent Thank going you? to more art. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that just kind of blew me out of the water. Uh, let's go to yeah Streamlabs to check that out. I, I can't believe I didn't have this available. But before I before I read that, I should just note before I forget. Ryunosuke goes by the he or they. He will allow you to say whatever. Uh, it's yeah, it does that every time. I don't know why it reiterates like the sound. Up. I don't know why it does that every time. <laughs> uh, but um, happy belated Christmas from Nax Ninja Boss. A present to you all. Your content is one of my uh, or one of the many that make me and my buddies feel quite good and get us a good laugh. Plus nectar. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. You are. Uh, an angel, and we appreciate it here at uh, My Hero Class 1C. For those of you who don't know, because I haven't said it in a while, um, My Hero Class 1C, all of our donations don't go to uh, like any one of us in particular, unless we have no need for anything, um, in which case it'll disperse uh, evenly through the players and I, but if not, almost all of it goes through um, and it becomes art for our channel. So thank you so much. Uh, we need to we need to come up with like a donation thing that we can give people because that was amazing. Um, uh, cannot find the art channel. So if you guys go into our Discord, and I'll actually pull up Ryunosuke's thing right here and put it on the stream so people who are not a part of it can see. Uh, so if you go into that and you join the My Hero, uh, like if you click the role for student, um, it will take you to... Uh, or give you access to a channel, and if you go to my, uh, official 1C, it's at the bottom uh, of the channel is Mitsuru, but right above him is uh, Ryunosuke. Uh, so we'll go to NPCs, and I'll, I'll just pull them up here for people who want to see. Uh, so this, oh my goodness, that's so big. Uh, this is Ryunosuke. And I'll, I'll shrink them down. Uh, and Wait, also, Grant, do we have... Oh my god, and th this is Max Ninja's first time chat. <laughs> Thank you well, so much, yeah. Max Ninja. Uh, we uh, we are going to be talking I, about this forever. <laughs> I, I, I was saying, uh, do you have a way to check our progress? Because Blue Jay says we, were om we almost are qualified for the sub button. That would be... Yeah, we actually do have a, a way to... Pro we, we can check after stream. Um, and if we ever get, like, sub button, uh, I'll lose my mind. And we'll absolutely start... Uh, is the people I mean, they said that y'all are getting it next week. I'm not. I'm not awesome. entirely sure. That may but, have been yeah, just an right. optimistic point. Uh, so yes. The what information do you have that we don't? <laughs> um, so <laughs> Owlneck asked, "Is the pupil the question mark hint symbol?" So yeah. Uh, the his or their pupil is the question block symbol from Mario Kart. Um, and it it changes. That's just usually the one that uh, I like to uh show off. Uh, so. I will say for Dragon Shadow, uh, I will post the picture of Ryunosuke also in My Hero Art. Um, uh, no, what I meant is I was foreshadowing a dono. Oh, I appreciate. Yeah, no, that's very funny. Uh, yeah, so for oh, oh. anyone, yeah, that would be that would be crazy if we got that next week. But you know, hopeful thinking. Um, as you guys are sitting uh, and finishing up food, Ryunosuke uh, makes to ch make sure to like check over and make sure all of the DSs are working. He puts four different copies in every single one of them uh, and hands all of them to Kosuke, save for their own. And you can see that uh, Ryunosuke's DS that they use is like heavily modified. Um, 
uh, once the official art, do you have the My Hero role? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's another thing. If, if someone is in our chat who wants to see something who does not have the My Hero role, uh, you can go to roles and acquire it, or I can give it to you. If you tell me your Discord name, I'll just literally search their Discord and personally give it to you. Uh, oh, Holy Knight of Smite, don't worry. We'll have our, our VOD up soon. Uh, but their, their DS is heavily modified. It is, of course, covered in plastic wrap to make sure that there is no nicks or scratches. It is a limited edition. Uh, it is a, like, Pikachu-themed. I, I can't even... There's no... I can't even use, like, the Japanese word for Pikachu because it's still Pikachu. Uh, <laughs> but, like, an electric rat, uh, the, like, a special DS that was released. Um, I fucking love that one. Yeah, it looks awesome. Uh, and... Uh, like as they pull it out, they have all of the special stuff. They also have like the special 3DS that looks like a SNES, uh, that's like in cool. their like sh like shirt pocket poking out just in case. Dude. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, Child me genuinely wanted nothing but to spend my money on this. And you, yeah, <laughs> and you're justified. They look dope. Yeah, like. <laughs> all right. Like I had never, I had never wanted a collector's edition to anything. Um, you guys are set into, uh, Mario Party DS. DS. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Mario uh, Party, but for the DS! Uh, Whoa! The sound is drowned out, and you guys can hear the sound of Mario Party DS soundtrack start to fill your ears. <laughs> Let's go! I really like the Flinger painting minigame. <laughs> All right. Flinger painting? So, because yeah, we fling paint. As much as I really wish we could emulate uh, Mario Party DS for our stream, I'm pretty sure we would probably get struck down by Nintendo for uploading Nintendo that. Nintendo hates <laughs> people using their music. Um, so, we're going to do a bunch of tech education checks. Oh, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> Either tech <laughs> education, uh, <laughs> general education, uh, control, whatever you guys uh, want to try and use. But I'm going to be asking for tech education. Uh, and with that, we're going to go through five different mini games uh, with Ryunosuke getting advantage on all of these, of course. Um, so we have. Uh, our Why does he get advantage? Because uh, he's played these probably more than you have eaten in your life. Yeah, Peter. Okay, fair. Uh, so, let's see. Can we get a... <laughs> Here you go. First game! You guys are going to be playing Rail Riders. In this game, the players must use the stylus to speedily slide down a handrail. Every time the player slides the stylus, their speed grows. And when the player reaches the bottom of the rail, their speed determines how far they will jump. The player who makes it the farthest in this wins the minigame. If all players either miss making their farthest jump or achieve the same jump score, weirdly impossible, uh, the minigame is considered a tie. So you guys will give me your tech education check, and you must beat... A twelve. Oh, I is... didn't. <laughs> What's up? Seventeen. Oh. Damn. How many breads have you eaten in your life? Yeah, he's got the JoJo quote. <laughs> uh, twelve. Twelve. Um, Ryunosuke, who is extremely excited to have friends playing with them, uh, has taken a moment, like. And you may or may not have seen it, but during the time that you're spending, uh, like, moving your stylus up, uh, you can catch them looking or, like, l he's, like, catching little glimpses of you guys as you're all like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come uh, on, and getting excited. Um, and Ryunosuke, his eyes, rather than question marks, are like little stars. He's, he's just beyond happy. Um... All right, and so we have 12, 12, 17, and Kosuke? Sorry, muted. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I got a, I got an eight. <laughs> Dude, don't, don't we have a, like a plus seven for Tech Ed? Oh, is it plus seven? That I got a, 
Uh, let's go ahead. Then and... I got a ten. I'm gonna say, let me well, let me go to my DM maybe tools. It's, it and... might be. Oh wait, I still I have like a plus two. I'm gonna go ahead and go to our our player stuff. Yeah, the TV is plus four tech ed. Is um, that CRT? Okay. No, 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 okay. We've 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 revamped uh, because uh, some of them are, are a little bit too big. But yes, TV is plus two. Uh, the BS Vive is plus two, and the AC unit is plus one. So at most, you guys should have plus fives. Okay. Well, uh, which isn't. What about our aptitude bad. too? And your aptitude bonus as well, if you have a aptitude bonus for your tech education. Homura is yeah, crap. I do have a seven. <laughs> oh my god, Homura. Uh, then I just have, have a six, so I got a nine. So Secret still not. gaming. Uh. A little too preoccupied with watching his newfound friends uh, enjoy the, the time they're spending with him. Uh, you're all slamming through these styluses, or, and, and all of these sleds are going far. Uh, and before he has a chance to realize that uh, his time is up, all of you guys go launching off these. Uh, and Ichiro makes it just as exactly far. Uh, and Ryunosuke looks over at you with a, like, almost like... Uh, regret for not going farther, but still impressed that you are going as far. Looks over at Kosuke, and you can tell that they're a little bit like, come on. Uh, and then looks at, as Homura goes farther, uh, in shock, just as Homura, like, launches uh, across the map uh, and makes it the farthest. Uh, and Homura has won the first bout. That is one point for Kosuke. Homura. I was gonna say, Kosuke definitely made, like, a really, like, obvious mistake and got annoyed. Uh, you, yeah, also, I should note, you guys are, like, using the stylus, but because of the plastic wrap over yours, there's, like, a weird disconnect where, like, it's not going as fast yeah, there's as like Yeah, there's, like, a, there's, like, a small, like, little lip. <laughs> yeah, Queso, I don't know how to say your name, but Queso, Queso. you did not miss a whole lot. They just played their first minigame with Ryunosuke. Uh, the next minigame... Is get the lead out. In this game, the players are pushing lead out of a mechanical pencil as fast as they can in 10 seconds. Once their time is up, the screen mover starts to show over a grid of paper. It is at this time that the distance is measured and the players with the most lead pushed out win the game. Uh, so yeah, uh, so this I will, right. I will either let you guys use, of course, your tech education, uh, or if you're going beyond what you're normally capable of. A little bit of a plus nectar, plus ultra. Uh, you guys can use... I have to get back to the sheets. Uh, where is it? I will let you use reaction. Or no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Tempo. To try and tap as fast as you possibly can. Uh, on the count of three. Uh, you guys get ready and it's three, two, one. And you guys are set off. You can see Ryunosuke tapping as fast as he can. He does not want to get let a uh, fall behind for another one. He does not want to look like a bitch in front of you guys. Um, I start screaming. <laughs> uh, and I get a 11. All right. You guys must beat a 19. Damn. I got a 10 again. Oh, I, I stopped screaming. 14. 14. Oops. Oh, wait, no. So I got uh, 17. Bruh. Because I got a 10, and I have the plus 7. Oh my god. I still right. didn't beat him, though. That's okay. Uh, he finally, like, comes out of it and takes the win, and you can hear him just, like, in his brain. He nearly jumps out of his seat uh, and lets out, like, a whew. Uh, as that comes across, uh, you see... I should say, what characters did you all pick? What are the uh, options for the DS game? Uh, Mario Party DS characters available are. I mean, it. I mean, it's all like the the obvious ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is Mario, uh, Luigi, Princess Peach, Yoshi, 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 Princess Daisy, Toad, Wario, and Luigi. Waluigi, sorry. Yeah. Um, he is playing. Ryunosuke is playing Mario. Uh, Kosuke is playing. Yoshi. Yoshi. <laughs> Wait, was that who you're, you're picking? Yes. 
Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I imagine, like, it's the, like, if it were animated, it's you guys in, like, little suits, and it's Homura in, like, an inflatable <laughs> dinosaur suit, but it's Yoshi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and her hair looks like Yoshi's tongue. Um. Kosuke will go Luigi. Alright. Uh, Ichiro? Uh, Wario. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. Uh, the game finishes up, and you can see uh, Rinosuke is like trying his best not to do a little jig uh, of excitement. We move on to the third game, which is uh, a two v two. So you guys get randomly assigned. Uh, so everybody pick a number between one and three. I was gonna say we could just roll a d four over matches. Wait, that's. Oh. I mean, yeah. Also, we, whoever. I mean, if, even if one person matches, they technically are a part of the team. Oh yeah. All right. So if everyone wants to, in yeah, just give me a one d four. Three. All right. Ichiro, one. Ichiro, and Ryunosuke are on a team. Ooh. Four. Uh. All right. This will so, be easy, dude. Okay. We got this. Uh. He reaches his hand up, and you can see. I should note. Um, there's an attempt at, like, reaching for a high-five. However, you can tell by the movement of the high-five that this is an unpracticed, uh, movement for him. He reaches it up, like, very faintly and weakly, and it kind of shakes a little bit. Um, he's not looking at you, but it's in your direction. Uh, I high-five him. Uh, his whole body moves back. Uh, That's so sorry. All right. The game you guys are playing is Hanger Management. The players hang on hang on hangers and have to move them along a wire to the end while avoiding various objects that are marked with an exclamation point icon. If the players hit an object, they will slow down. The player that can go faster by balancing the weight on the hanger uh, will be the winner. Uh, the first player on the, or the team to get this to finish uh, or to get to the finish line wins if both players or teams reach the finish line at the same time or five minutes pass, the minigame is considered a tie. Uh, so, yeah, it's essentially you're both on a coat hanger, uh, for those who don't know, and it's going across a little wire, and both of you will shuffle over on each side. So there's Mario and Wario and Yoshi and Luigi on one side. We have the MW team, uh, MW2, uh, and the green team. Um, alright. So this one is going to be a combo check. Unless you want to do a tech education check and see if, if you know, just say fuck it. Uh, see if you can get to the edge of the line. If one of you fails or gets below a five, you fall off. Uh, and that is, you only fall off, uh, if... You're, you're using the tech education check. If you both use a combo check, uh, the clo if you both if both teams use a combo check, uh, you both will uh, will 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 determine it by who has the closer combo check. So uh, I should say Ichiro, which one would you like to do? Would you like to do combo or would you like to do tech education? Combo. All right. Um, Ryunosuke is a little bit like, oh, okay, uh, but reluctant, uh, but willing. Uh, so he has a 3d5, or 3d6. For combo? Yeah. Whoa, okay. So you must get near an 8. Uh, okay. Homura, Ichi or Kosuke, uh, what would you like to use? What do you have Heck in it. combo? Uh... 2d6 and a yeah, plus we, two. We could just do that. Okay. I, I I also have a two, but I, I don't I don't have a plus anything. <laughs> These are all just sounds. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's tech ed, we don't have to like match, right? Yeah, you just you just have to uh like get above uh, a five or you fall off. Yeah. Dude, you have like a plus six in tech ed, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> Ichiro, <laughs> what did you get for your combo? Seven. 
Oh! Oh my goodness. And then I'll roll uh, a baseline for you guys to try and beat if you want to beat them now. Uh, so we'll roll 5d6. And you guys... <laughs> if you guys can beat an 18, uh, I'll let you... I'll let you take it, unless you guys want to roll combo. 18 combined? Uh, 18 combined. Oh. Okay, I got a... 15. Alright. Okay, <laughs> well... Ghost okay. What'd you get? Uh, and you were I mean, guaranteed I... to get that, because you have a plus well, six. Well, yeah, I was gonna say... <laughs> uh, I do I even have to? But I mean... If we're taking this roll for what it is, you roll three. I got a, I got a fifteen. Oh, okay. Uh, so <laughs> Ichiro we killed them. Yeah, Ichiro and Ryunosuke are like really trying. You can see them both sweating. Uh, not literally, but like the the joke sweat. Um, they're they're swinging back and forth, and Ichiro, who's probably never had a lot of like, <laughs> you know, practice with DS. Me DSs. when I jokingly sweat. <laughs> but like, you can see the like. Uh, oh no! Uh, Ryunosuke is trying to help coach Ichiro, who has never really used a DS before, and it's it's just impossible. Um, by the time they really get the hang of the controls and are working in tandem, you guys have already made it like three fourths of the way to the course, and kablam! Uh, the prize sets off, and you guys arrive. Both of you receive a win, um, so it's one win for Ryunosuke, two win for two wins total for Homura, and one win. Uh, for Homer, or there for one win for Kosuke. So right now, winning is Homura with a lead of one, and Ryunosuke and Kosuke uh, tied for second. Um, your third game will be uh, another one v three. Oh. Uh, this time I will be requiring you guys all use combo uh, to beat Ryunosuke. Uh, but we oh. will be playing. Where is it? Rubber Ducky Rodeo. One player controls a large rubber ducky, while the other three contestants try to maintain their balance on the smaller duckies attached to the larger duck in a row. The driver wins if all three of the uh, all three of you fall off your ducks, while the others win if any of them sustain their balance until time is up. Uh, you guys are thrown into this uh, amazingly fun little duck pit showdown. Let me get more fun music. Why is it all boss Dude, music? I bet Ichiro's got, like, massive fingers, too. Yeah. It must be hard to, like, hit those buttons. <laughs> fat fingering it. fat fingering everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, Just you really guys... mushing each side of the... Yes. You guys <laughs> need to either get a perfect combo or all total... Uh, actually, that's it. You just have to get a good enough combo. If you guys can complete combo it, I will allow you to win. Uh, unless you all want to try and tech ed and beat a 24. Which uh, is not... It's not put together. It is It is your own. So I would suggest trying to combo it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Do we all have a 2? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, let's get to oh, it. Let's go, boss. You can hear Ryunosuke as you guys are set up for the three, two, one. With like a... Uh, as they begin, like, immediately swinging the boat back and forth. You're trying ravenously to stay on. Uh, what are our numbers? We're going to go in order. Ichiro, what is your roll? Ten. Kosuke, what is your roll? Seven. Oh, oh, Homura, what is your roll? Eight. Oh my god. Uh, all right. Kosuke is flung off. Uh, and I'll save you. All right. Homura on Ichiro, if you can make one more combo check that stays, you guys can hang on. Uh, as it's going, uh, it's just... Uh, <laughs> Twelve. Nine. Uh, you are both flung off the boats, and you can see Ryunosuke nearly, as, as the time is running just short, uh, you're thrown off, and he jumps up, 
uh, in excitement, he nearly like knocks his chair over behind him, uh, and he lets out a like a, Ooh! Uh, and you are set back. Ryunosuke now takes a dub, and he has a tied win for win with Homura. Uh, that was your th third game, I believe. Yes. Yeah, no, fourth game. There was Rubber oh, Ducky Rodeo. Uh, there was the coat hanger. There was the pencils and rail riders. So oh, you're right. Yeah. Your last game. You guys are going to be playing Boogie Beam. The players no. are standing on a billboard which says the word Anything Damn. but that. <laughs> In big letters at the top has spotlights attached to it. The players perform poses if the sh light shines on them or gestures if not the light. Uh, this time I'm going to be asking you guys to do tech ed on your own. And we are going to be beating... You must beat a 16, which isn't actually that far out. Let's see. Wait, beat a what? A 16. Three, two, one. All right. In order, Ichiro. Nine. Nine. Ichiro gets the light shined on him and performs a stance. Taking him out Whoa. of the running. Kosuke. 15. Oh! With bonus? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so close. Just as you're in line with uh, Ryunosuke, uh, the light shines on you unexpectedly, and you hit a, a stance rather than a dance. And it takes hit a away. dance? <laughs> you, hit the, you hit the boogie bomb. I got hit with a boogie bomb. <laughs> uh, Homura. 13. Womp womp. Uh, the final light shines on Ryunosuke, and Homura hits the dance button, costing her a point. Uh, the game runs to the <laughs> end, and though there is a lot more intricate stuff that happens in Mario Party, uh, such as stars and turns and such, it takes the whole... Uh, it's, it's a shortened game um, with only a few rounds, and it takes the entirety of your lunch. Uh, but... You guys finish up, uh, and just as you guys finish the game, and, and Ryunosuke looks like more excited than you've ever seen him ever, uh, you're brought back into like the reality of it, and kids start pulling their trays up and putting them away and piling out, getting ready for class. Um, you guys, however, know that you have at least an hour of free time to go do uh, good, or do what you will, train, do whatever you need uh, to practice for. Uh, class today. Uh, I get then, up and go do good. <laughs> but uh, you see Ryunosuke get up. He packs away all his DSs. Um, do you guys remember what to do before you hand them back? Wipe them down. Yeah. Yep. Do you remember how to wipe them down? <laughs> you want screen. With? The wipes. Which, Nasty cloth. Which wipes? You do not touch them with the wet ones. Yes! You guys, he's so true. <laughs> he, he doesn't explain it to you because you can see there's a level of restraint that they've practiced through the years, uh, like of not telling people what to do. Uh, but he's, uh, you can see like the strain as his face is turning red and he's biting his lip a little bit as you pull up each different like wipe. And as you perfectly hand it back, uh, they look ecstatic. Um, oh, um, okay. Well, I'm gonna go to the arcade. You guys are welcome to join me if you want. I'm there every day. Bye. Uh, and he gets up. And as everyone else is kind of like sauntering out and like walking, he is full sprint. Like foot, like pushing people out of the way near, damn near. Uh, he doesn't actually come into contact with anyone, but he's doing the like when someone is in front of him and there's a, like a way to get through them, he like jumps to the side of them without touching them and he like disappears into the crowd. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see a few of the people that you know, like uh, Sukara and uh, Nana. She, like uh, Shay, specifically as you're as you're looking out the door, you see Nana. She come into view and then disappear as like she <laughs> leaves your peripheral. Uh, you can see Elias uh, like waving to you guys 
uh, Amara, Sukara, and all them are like, hey guys, like we'll see you, um, going to different places. Do you guys have an idea of what you'd like to do? Would you like to train? Would you like to spend it going somewhere? Did we ever get food for Shinso? Do you want to go back to your room and check up? He's starved. Cause yeah, I mean, we're, to... we're at the cafeteria, so we can, yeah, we yeah. can grab him something right now. Didn't he ask for something specific? Yeah, he, like, asked us to get groceries, I think. Uh, and we just, like, <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Do you guys want to go back and check on him and see what he wants? Can we text him? Uh, yeah. What do you want to text him? How you doing, smiley face? Uh, he... What do you want? <laughs> yeah, he... ask him if he wants lunch from the calf. Hungy buddy? You get a text back, uh... No, all good. Come back to the dorm when you can. Do you oh. want anything from Guntrush? Yes, lol. <laughs> Gunch. Uh, what... What did he serve? Uh, and I'm gonna say, you don't have to like name it all, but uh, just like send pics yeah, or yeah. something. He he oh, asked he for served. some. He... <laughs> it's giving. Uh, he asks for some of the Nigerian food that Lunch Rush made. <laughs> Someone goes, he's dying. <laughs> uh, you guys pack up. You you let Lunch Rush. Did you forget to feed the Shinso? <laughs> He, you guys get back and he's like, he's like, he's, he's floating at the top of the water. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's like, he's just bones with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Katamari's he's eating in a, him. In a neat little pile. <laughs> Katamari's like eating him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible scene. <laughs> he's a he's. Katamari's in the process of licking one of the bones clean. <laughs> Katamari burps. <laughs> Some purple hair comes up. <laughs> Burp. Yeah. Aw, right. man. This always happens. Alright, let's... <laughs> Every time we have guests. <laughs> Alright, let's bring up some of that food. Tromp, tromp, tromp. Knock, knock, eat your slop. We pour it into his little trough outside. <laughs> uh, as you guys, as you guys uh, get to the door, you see that there is two Instacart bags sitting outside your dorm room. Whoa! The <laughs> <Sponsorship. laughs> uh, Careful, they might be bombs. You guys, oh, uh, these are bombs. <laughs> They're <laughs> bomb factory. <laughs> God damn, you made me do it. These are bombs from the bomb factory. Uh, you guys. Look inside, and well, do you want to look inside, or do you want to do you want what do you want to do when you first arrive? It's in, in front of your door. There's two Instacart bags full to the brim, um, and I smell. I mean, is I mean, there like a receipt on them? Uh, yeah. Uh, I want to look at it. Uh, you see that it's like Hitoshi Shinso ordered at like it was breakfast that he wanted, um, but as you guys know, he won't open the door unless the person behind the door says the phrase. Oh my God. Do you guys? Wait, home, Alabama. Do you guys remember the phrase? Uh, uh Midsummer's Eve. No. Come on, I had to have written it down. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys? Do you guys want to <laughs> give me a general education check? And I'll... Fishies. Yes, the door opens. Oh my god, I I also did write it down. I just, it just wasn't labeled, so I just have fishies. Yeah, uh, no. fishies, uh, you say fishies and the door opens, uh, Shinso looks, like, so, you can hear, like, as, like, uh, his stomach growls, he reaches out and grabs the Instacart, uh, and you can see Katamari immediately tries to get out the door. Can Nab. Some, can someone, yeah, can someone give me a reaction, reaction. check? Yeah, give me a reaction check, try and grab him. Erm... Um. Nine. You grab him just by like the, the underbelly and throw him over your shoulder. Uh, and you hear like, Meow. like a continental soldier. <laughs> uh, as you guys step inside, you or at least Kosuke, because you have the receipt. Uh, you can see uh, the items purchased were milk, eggs, orange juice, butter, bread, peanut butter, crackers, and miso paste for miso soup. Wow. 
Uh, this is all going right into your guys' common room fridge. Well, that's just so you're really stocked up. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be here for a while. I really don't want to put you guys out every day if I don't have to. True. I appreciate that. For sure. He really wouldn't mind if you did, though. <laughs> he he goes to, like, dap you guys up. I, I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, yes, you do. I walk past <laughs> him and dap him up. Uh, your hands slide, and he's like, hey. Hero knows what a dab is. <laughs> That's honestly the funniest thing. <laughs> Hero dapping someone up. Uh, yeah, he 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 uh, explains that, you know, you guys have done him such a great amount of service by not only letting him know that he was in danger, but being able to, like, be there for him. Uh, so he just really wants to pay you guys back in any way he can. So, see, I knew telling him was the right idea. Uh, so you guys have all of this food. Um, he takes the food that you give him and just starts like munching on it. Uh, and you can see he's like walking around your dorm because now, as as he's eating, you can see Katamari like following him, being like, <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Uh, and trying to take it from him, or like take some from him. It's like the like it cannot be stopped like level of cat where you have to like. Like hold their head down, or like hold. Oh them my down. god! <laughs> like, I used to have to. Cushion. I used to have to try and fight my three cats for like <laughs> safety while I was eating breakfast before going to high school. <laughs> and I remember just like sitting on the couch and having them try and like genuinely steal my breakfast from me every morning. It's <laughs> exactly what's going on right now. Uh, he's like, guys, guys, come on, please! I haven't eaten all day, and you hear like. <laughs> Uh, and he's like, he's a chrome. <laughs> Katamari has both of his paws like stuck on Shinsa's back leg, uh, like like back left leg. So he's dragging Katamari through the apartment on the ground. <laughs> All right, I'll grab the beast. <laughs> Yeah, they they do also have supernatural strength when yeah. it comes to stealing food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, like especially once they get it. It does not... You don't get it back. Yeah. No. And, and, and you gotta at least sacrifice a little bit of it. <laughs> like... I see. Uh, where is it? I like how some of these videos that I have around it are like realistic cat sounds. Which makes me wonder. So it's just a dude sitting in front of a... <laughs> a like a mic meowing? You can hear like this just throughout your dorm. It really is a cat. Don't you have cat food? What, like on me? No, I'm talking to Homer. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he, no, like Homer, like Shay, he's... Does he want yummy numbers? <laughs> there's food Bumpy. in, there's food in the bowl. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he's not starving. <laughs> Wait, he's got a poop. Doth we he have a, a litter box? box? Yeah. Yeah, we, we do. He's just bugging Shinso. She's peeing a little ass. He's just bugging. He's, yeah. Shinso, I just pet him or something. I'm trying to eat. I don't want cat hair in my food. And as, yeah, as it's going on, just. <laughs> Come on, get away! Stop it! <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, anyways, <laughs> and we like turn our backs to it. <laughs> no, I grab him. Yeah. He like he like opens his mouth uh, and just like yells as you pull him away from Shinso. You like don't rip him off him, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, big loud baby. <laughs> you sling Katamari and like hold him like a baby, and he just lays in Homura's arms. Uh, so yeah, you guys have like just started your free period. Uh, he he asks why you're here, and then goes, "Oh wait, I forgot. You guys have that whole weird curriculum thing." Uh, you guys planning on doing anything? Uh... I don't know. We didn't think that far ahead. Yeah, not particularly. Not at all. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I mean, hey, <laughs> I'm here. Uh, but don't feel like you have to stay here because of me. Um... Put no, in the, someone's I mean, there's a part of me that kind of just wishes they'd make their move already. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I get what you mean. Uh, he 
r is saying it kind of reluctantly with like a hidden bit of anxiety and scrapes the back of his head anxiously, but he totally understands what you mean in a sense that, you know, the, the faster it happens, the faster it can be prevented. Uh, though the idea of someone coming at him or coming after him is, is still a, a anxious thing. Um, yeah. I just wish we knew when, you know? Yeah. All right. Uh, as you guys are, are going through, um, he asks if you guys have plans for afternoon. I mean, usually he would go to clubs on Friday. Uh, are you guys a part of any clubs? Uh, well, uh, actually, I'm not. I usually I go should to, go visit the club. I usually go to the yeah. photography club on Fridays, but I don't really think that's going to be an option. I'm pretty sure Juzo will be fine without us. Which club? Uh, the art club, or I'm technically a part of the art club. I, I really just consider myself a part of the photography club, but last year there wasn't enough students, so the art club kind of absorbed the photography club. Uh, I actually think you guys might know some. I think there's some 1C kids in there. Uh, oh. He explains that Amara Choco and Elias Aro are also part of that, uh, but it's run, or at least like the president right now is Juzo Hononuki. Hononuki. It's well, actually we really, know some of those people. <laughs> Juzo is a great mentor for uh, doing negatives and stuff. Uh, and like, you know, the, he explains the process of like taking old photos and dipping them in like the, the chemicals. Um, as well as a, uh, like Elias uh, is a, a really great photographer, though he prefers to use like newer digital models. <laughs> Are you guys a part of any clubs? I'm part of the garden club. Oh, really? That's awesome. I got chased out of there last time I tried to take pictures. Said I was. Why? Just, I don't know. Someone chick from class 1B was giving me some spiel about the plants don't like photography and the light upsets them. I mean, they're plants. I, I, I don't even know what to say to that. Yeah, I don't get it either. It's pretty weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we try and join the occult club? Uh, yeah, you did. It was it was closed due to the the president being, um, dead on, on suspension, <laughs> murdered. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. We wait. We should check that out then. Yeah. Didn't one of you wanted to do it with me? I don't remember who. Someone. Uh. Oh yeah, that uh, people are wondering if you're gonna train or do something. But uh, for note for those watching, clubs take uh are, are an act that you do after school. Uh, but this is just some light discussion before they choose what to do. Um, yeah, uh, the occult club, the gardening club, the sports club, the manga club, the book club, the art club, the body improvement club, and the video game club are all available after school. <laughs> the, I will note, the difference between sports club and body improvement club is that sports club, uh, is for people who do track and field and other, like, basic sports. That's, that's if you're a part of a sports team. Uh, and the body improvement club takes place in the gym after school. Yeah, I, you can only imagine who's a part of that club. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, do you guys wanted to check out the fight on. <laughs> fight on, yeah. You guys, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you want to do for your hour though? I, I guess it's up to you. You, you don't have to leave right this second, but. There's, if you want to figure it out. But I always do like training as an option, but... I'm down to train. Meow. 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 We're, we're just, like, talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys can see Homer and, and Katamari are having a good discussion. Yeah, he like he, like, interrupts the conversation and I just go with it. What are you Sorry, feeling, guys. One Ichiro? second. Well, I wouldn't want to miss out on training with the both of you, so we should just go to the gym. All right. Oh, oh, oh. We teleport there. <laughs> uh, I will say, I think, yeah, the last the, time we had this, uh, it the was... background just slides behind us. 
The that SpongeBob joke. <laughs> yeah. Where he just like jumps up into the next scene. Oh, like bubbles. Yeah. Right. He rides the scene transition. <laughs> you guys, you guys get the Danganronpa transition where like the the background disappears and then it builds itself behind you. Uh. Danganronpa. Ding 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 ding. Bam bam pop pop okay to pop pop. Oh boy, I sure hope nothing bad happens in this gym. <laughs> uh, do you guys know what you want to train? Um, I need medicine to... Ed. You okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, I want to train reaction. All right. Uh, yeah, Kosuke, there is a machine, and by machine, I mean it's a, it's a, uh, it's non-electric. It's one of those machines that has the swinging bars. Uh, that when you hit them, they go around, and then they come around the other side, and you hit them, and they come around. Uh, usually used for training martial arts, um, and you can use those uh, in, like, the rec room uh, near the weightlifting area. Um, so, yeah, Kosuke is going to train reaction. Um, Homura? Medicine, Ed. All right. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and read some of the, the, not the physiology. It's a... It's, uh, not anatomy, but, uh, yeah, there's books available in the, uh, little classroom inside the gym. Um, Ichiro, what are you going to train? Intimidation. Again? Is that one of your yeah. only ones that you have to train to level up it's again? It's the last one. What level is your power? Uh, right now it's three. Damn. Ooh. All right, Ichiro, you just go into uh, the room nearby Kosuke, and you're using some of the wall mirrors to to practice your facial muscles. <laughs> you guys get back to class. Hello, students. A body has been discovered. Uh, I, I, th I thought you were gonna say like we come out. Ichiro comes out of the room, and he's got like <laughs> a brilliantly defined jawline. <laughs> Peak bones that could kill. No, you guys, uh, yeah, he's got, like, the Chad face. Yeah. I was gonna say, you come out, and he, uh, he just looks really, like, angry, and you're like, what's wrong? He goes, I can't see my forehead. <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh, Homura, you are training in your anatomy practice, and you see a lot of, uh, information about staunching bleedings, uh, putting, uh, and preparing splints. Uh, and where you should not put pressure on certain wounds as to not cause blood clots uh, or blood just like blood flow problems. Uh, like where you should not, if there is a neck wound, where you should not put pressure because that is where the air travels to the brain. Um, so yeah, go ahead and give yourself a point. <laughs> he flexes his eyebrows and they're ripped as hell. Principal Nezu bulging would, veins. <laughs> Principal Nezu would absolutely make a real life Among Us game out of the UA students and staff just for the laughs. Uh, All right, so this this levels up my power. Really? You're at yes. power level four now. Yes. Damn. All right. So before we get to that, uh, Kosuke, you level or you get an aptitude point for your reaction. Yeah, and I level up my speed too. Three. All right, so you get three reactions per round of combat now, as well as three points of XP for your XP shop. So you guys can remove all of your aptitude bonuses for those. Uh, Ichiro, you have yep. the option to now choose uh, a... Where is it? You have four points to spend between the four point, three point, two point, and one point XP shop areas. Do you have an idea of what you'd like to get? Uh, and Kosuke, the same for you, but three points. Um, this is exciting! You guys haven't leveled up in a hot sec. Um, sure. I need to see everything that's available. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the, where did you... I, I can never remember. It's in, I'll, uh, it's in the Class 1C PDF on pages 17 and 18. And I will drop that I, in. I, I swear you dropped, like, a screenshot I of it somewhere. I definitely did but... somewhere, but I cannot remember where I did. Uh, there's stuff, pick crew, fridge, common room, dice, my dumb fuck. Uh, it's probably in my dumb fuck, but just very far up. Found it. Nice. All oh, right, I forget whatever you, whatever page you're on when you share the docs link. That's what it opens up mm. to. All right. So, 
Ichiro has the option to get part-timer. This is... <clears throat> so, we do have part-time jobs. However, part-timer is one that you do uh, in, like, half the time you would spend your, like afternoon like mid you'd spend basically an hour there and you'd get just as much money if you were doing uh your normal job awesome. uh interior designer you get a new slot for your dorm your coupon king your culinarian you can sell stuff online get quirk hints uh kickboxer heavy boxer pet owner human drone uh days worth of work and oh with an excellent rating that's right um where are all of these? Oh. <laughs> I forgot that uh, your picture on Google is Jerma. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so while this is going on, chat, uh, I guess I want to ask if, while they decide. This is for chat, and this is also for our YouTube comment section, uh, just to kill time. If we were to set up a donation goal... Uh, or or to set up a follower goal, what what would you guys want to see? Because at the current time, we do have a community game planned that's going to take place in our universe, uh, and I have some of the community members on our Discord that are going to take place in it. Nobody of Class 1C is going to be in it, unless in future ones they feel the need to. Um, I would love to do... Uh, you know, raffles uh, to see if we can get your characters in our game. Uh, I, I'd love to add new things, though I don't know what maybe people would want. Uh, Owlneck has $50 and ready and waiting and needs to stop. We do not deserve it. We appreciate it. But we need, I want to set up something that we can give you guys back in, in turn, uh, for donations. I, I, I feel like you guys deserve something, uh, for giving us such, uh, like, copious amounts of money that, uh, is coming out of your bank accounts. You, you know, you deserve it. Um, let's see. Uh, where is our alert boxes, recent events, oh, tip history, um, <sighs> Jesus. paycheck the content being better uh the content will always be better we will always strive to give you guys the best we can give you heavy box to rock people in the next dimension <laughs> yeah each row with more damage is kind of like a, a dangerous game to be playing i think without any other options i may have to <laughs> what um take heavy hitter Really? Again. <laughs> so, how does that work exactly? Uh, so, heavy hitter is replace one punch roll for a maximum damage value. So, for your punches, you're doing your... Well, now you have a D4. Or 4D what? 4D4 for your damage base punch? Now that you're punching, let me go to combat. Yeah. So, you would, instead of rolling 4D4, you would roll 3D4... And one of the rolls for you would just be a full four. You wouldn't okay. even have to roll I, for it. You got and it? I think I took... Um. Oh, wait. What did I take first time? Did you write it down? Oh, yeah. It's medical practice. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You get a plus two for healing? Or... Uh, craft small bandages. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, you can use, like, your clothes to craft small bandages. Okay, so I am going to get Heavy Hitter. Okay. Damn. All right. Just be sure to write that down in your sheet so we don't forget. Each row will one day arm wrestle with All Might, and for an instant, barely a second, All Might will actually have to try. <laughs> that would be impressive. All right. Uh, so, the time for... Oh, wait. Sorry, Kosuke. What did you get? I just want to make sure we... Yeah. Yeah, I got it. That's it's so tough, dude. Exciting. We we will uh, so you have to use it now. But uh, if you guys want, I'll also I'll probably end Wait, up. So also, uh, the XP shop it doesn't really specify what is the for like kickboxer and heavy hitter. Mm -hmm. What's the? It says one kick roll, but per 
or what? Uh, so so when you're Dang. rolling, yeah, for no no, uh, just replace one kick roll for damage of uh, maximum value. It's it's, I'm I should specify, and I'm gonna go back after, but it's saying I was same thing with Alex. Uh, when you're kicking, you have X amount of dice that you can use, X being the level of your power or or technique. So you're you know you're gonna hit with your regular kick. That's 3d4 damage plus your technique. So instead of rolling 3d4, you would roll 2d4 and add a full four, as if on that roll you just rolled the most you could. Okay. So essentially, if you max this out at this level, or if you had maxed this out at this level, you would be doing every single time 12 damage plus three. Like it would just right. it would turn into like a base amount of damage. Uh, but yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll grab kickboxer. All right. Some more heavy hitting. Not literally, literally, but heavy hitting in terms of damage done, not the skill. <laughs> uh, all right. You guys expend your hour training yourselves and your bodies to help further your careers as heroes. Uh, and afterwards... You stop by the, your room, you wash uh, or get some deodorant on and change your uniforms, undershirt, and head back to class. I just put the wrong one in there. Uh, you head back to class, and you can see kids are starting to pile in. Um, allow me to head back to UA1 classroom. Uh, Clean Knight is excited to see all of you back in class. Uh, it sucks that our dimensions for our, uh, our, our stream are so weird. Otherwise, I could zoom in all the time. Um, but as you arrive in class, everyone is just as where they had left off. Uh, and Clean Knight has the activity set on the board. So you guys are going to pair up with a partner. Uh, and you're going to pick hero names for yourselves. Just tentative. This is not for the future. This is just to, you know, um, to brainstorm. Uh, and then you're going to talk to your partner about what they want to do and what emotions that their hero name elicits, uh, and just overall give them criticism or, or, or you know, give them kind of, uh, like, some help, some small direction uh, on what they should be looking for. Uh, so say, you know, you're helping Nanashi, who wants to be uh, a, a hero who rescues people, but she chooses a name that is indicative of someone who would be fighting or someone who is... Uh, there for combat, you know, give her a little push to the other side. Um, so as this goes on, kids begin pairing up. Um, there's there's eyes that dart around. <laughs> there is Amara and Tsukara, Akihiko and Rory, um, Tsuyoshi and Alina, Sosuke and uh, Kyo, uh, <laughs> Ryunosuke immediately stands up and walks over to Kosuke to ask him if he would like to pair up. Um, Elias walks over to Shango or Shingo and puts his hand down on his desk, and the rest are up to you guys. Um, Ryunosuke looks at you. He doesn't even ask you, Kosuke. He, j he just kind of is like, so what I was thinking, and just immediately starts explaining his ideas. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't say anything. Like, I let him talk, but I, I, I turn back to, uh, to, to you guys, and I, I uh, I shrug, and then turn back to Ryunosuke. <laughs> okay. Like, you can't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ichiro. Well, Omar, what were you thinking? I don't even know. Alright, cool. I'm glad I'm not the only one without an idea. Uh, did you guys want to find a partner of the kids that haven't chosen one yet, or do you want to stick with each other? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe someone else has an idea. Wait, are we coming up with names for ourselves or for the other person? Uh, for yourself. Um, okay. But, like, they're going to, if if they don't like it or if they think that, like, maybe it's giving off the wrong idea of what kind of hero you are, they're they're supposed to give you criticism. Um, Who okay. doesn't have a partner? Uh, Nanashi, Mitsuru, Ei, Sutiko, and Hitori do not have partners.
Hmm. I don't know. This is scary. Let's just pair up. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um, Clean Knight, uh, like, stands up and is like, if you're not with a partner in the next minute, I'll personally pair you up. Uh, and as that goes around, you guys choose each other, uh, and you see EI getting paired. There's an odd number. Uh, yeah. Mitsuru, uh, sitting at his desk, um, Clean Knight comes over and whispers into his ear. Uh, it's, it's a brief moment of, like, just a, a light discussion. Um, you can give me perception if you want to. Um. Yeah. Yeah, give me perception if you're, if you're close enough. You see, uh, he whispers and Mitsuru doesn't even really move. What's up? Twelve. You hear, you can work with her if you would like to. I will not force you to work with a separate partner. Uh, just be sure to let me know how it goes at the end of the day. And Mitsuru uh, nods and she's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, and Clean Knight heads back to the front of the class. Uh, mm. All right, Kosuke, what was your idea for a hero name? Gosh. <laughs> uh, well, I was gonna let Ryanosuke talk first, but uh, I mean, yeah, if you if you want to. I mean, I mean, I assumed because he was already came over and started talking. Yeah, uh, he starts explaining that he wants to base it off of a video game, but he can't tell if he wants to go with a Nintendo property, or if he wants to go with a property that's more indicative of someone who's a hero. He's not sure if he wants to be a hero who's going to save people, uh, be that from, like, medical emergencies or physical disasters. He has thought about working in natural disaster work, but he thinks that sometimes if his things aren't working well enough, he might as well become someone else who needs to be saved. He's thought about going back to retro games, but retro games aren't really indicative of people who are coming to save you. Um, he's thought about going uh, after games that are based on heroes, but he feels like if he goes too far with a hero-based video game that he might end up looping back around to stealing the hero's name. Essentially, that's how it goes for the next, like, five minutes. Uh... He eventually lands on uh, the uh, name Odyssey. Um, he is is not really sure on how he can explain it. It's a lot of uh, he you can tell it's a lot of like echolalia of of the word that he's been saying. He's been he says it a lot after he starts explaining it, and it's it's indicative that he really likes the sound of the word, though it may not be right. Uh, <laughs> but um, the Odyssey is supposed to represent like the journey he wants to go on. He wants to be uh, the journeyman hero Odyssey. He's not really sure how he can relate his name to games without uh, giving this like almost comedic name to it. Like he's trying too hard to be something he's not. Um, he wants to be a hero that is really just available for all sorts of things problem is the things that he is prepared for are not always going to be a, like a, a capable situation if he gets into a natural disaster situation and he pulls out the wrong item he is just going to get in the way um odyssey also gives this like flavor of like the unknown what did you have in mind uh man so someone Someone called out the. I mean, the first idea I had. It's the most obvious. I mean, come on. What? Which one? Blue Phoenix? No, Freezer Brain. Oh, Freezer Brain. Um, I mean, because I was like, I wanted to say, like, uh, yeah, Coast Kid's like, yeah, I, uh, I was thinking Freezer Burn, but. Well, what kind of? I'm not you, sure. What kind of hero do you want to be? Well, I really want to. Uh, I, I, I'm not, I'm not too focused on rescue work. I think, mm -hmm. I think my flames would definitely get in the way. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I really like the heroes that, you know, deal with the bad guys. Mm. You see, mm. I mean, Razorburn does sound cool. 
Though I think a lot of people may associate it with what you get when your meat's frozen. Or, or food is frozen. Have you thought of mm. something a bit more indicative of a combat style? What kind of fighting style do you use? And uh, you don't have to specify your martial arts, per se. Oh, yeah. Whether you're a more ranged, uh, a mid-ranged, uh, a, a close fighter. Uh, I'm really mostly um, like mid to close range. Mm. Use kicks, mostly. Um. Hmm. <sighs> well, why not try using things like hailstone or permafrost in the words, or glaciers or dry ice something that's big something that people hear and their brain goes and he makes this big uh like gesture with his hands because he he starts describing like uh like you know like ice flows and and those big fucking glaciers like you you see some level of stability to those and i'm sure that would give people some level of comfort he's obviously not saying you have to use that he's just giving what he thinks is a good idea or if you want to go with some true, but uh, okay. So, well, no, yeah, I was just saying, or yeah. or use stuff like Fahrenheit or Kelvin or, or levels of temperature. Yeah, saying well, I also, uh, I'm 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 not too big, so that's fair. I don't want I don't I don't want a name that will make people think they're able to really stand behind me. But well, I well. That's not true. <laughs> well, not like <laughs> they can't stand behind me. Like I won't defend them, but yeah, like I won't be able to block something for them. I uh, I looked up closely related words with ice, and there was some cool stuff like like Fahrenheit and uh, ice, icing and frost and, and all that. And then there was I guess because it's a, a it's another word for it, um, methamphetamine. <laughs> 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 methamphetamine hydrochloride. It's the hero, methamphetamine. <laughs> He's got that ice on him. <laughs> okay. Uh, or stuff like cryo or polar. Uh, and you guys can you guys talk for a little bit, and it, it's it's very clearly uh, as you're going over these cool words, like you guys are are getting excited, and, and obviously you suggest or give him the criticisms that you have. Uh. Do you do you have any suggestions for him, or or I guess you can be critical of him. He won't he won't take it offensively if you're like, I don't think that works for you. <laughs> uh, League of Legends. The Elder Odyssey. Rolls five Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> Overwatch. Oh my god, I have it for you. Red Dead Redemption two. <laughs> Tom the last of us. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Rainbow Siege 6. The Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> Call oh, no, of that Duty one's good. Warzone Modern A Video Warfare. Game Hero Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should you should name yourself like Massive Dub. I think I'd rather Fortnite kill myself. Battle Royale. Uh, Victory Royale. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, <laughs> we Fit Plus. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skateboarding. <laughs> Pokemon Ultra Sun. <laughs> Grand <laughs> Ultra Moon. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Homura Ichiro. Uh, what about you guys? What are what are some ideas that you had for each other? For each other? Uh, or sorry, for for yourselves, uh, and then criticisms for each other. I should have definitely elaborated better. Actually, Homer, I think I have an idea for you. Yeah. Blood Lord. <laughs> Damn. Dude, that's pretty sweet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hear I, my I idea? Do. Yeah. I think I was going to go with Beast Lord. <laughs> He's just putting Lord at the end of everything. <laughs> and keep... Christy, like, hears him say that. <laughs> Ice Lord, get <laughs> over here. <laughs> Ice Lord? That's not my name. What are you talking about? Uh, So, we were going over our names, and I think... Well, I think I'm going to go with Beast Lord. 
Beast Lord, huh? Yeah, Che, do you have any criticisms for him? <laughs> well, you're not Lord of all beasts, though. You're only Lord of a bovine or horned creatures. Lord of horns, perhaps? Horn Lord, maybe? Horn Lord, yeah. Lord of beef and <laughs> lamb. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Poor Lord. Dude, Wellington. <laughs> um, like Beef Wellington. <laughs> I guess it could be Beef Wellington. <laughs> T-Bone. Honestly, Ichiro, your quirk name would be good for a hero name. I know some people just use their quirk names for that. Oh, Matador. Boy. It's not a bad idea. But, it doesn't sound... Mm, doesn't really like... tell people what your quirk is either. As Clean Knight said, All Might's name uh, really like encompasses, uh, I guess, how strong he is, how much of a force he is. All and Might, yeah. Beast Lord. <laughs> You'd have to be really strong to be the Beast Lord. I really can't argue with that. I yeah. like. Who sounds tougher, All Might or Beast Lord? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but I'm not gonna lie. Beast Lord also sounds a little villainous. When is a Lord ever evil? Well. Wah wah, England. <laughs> England yeah, moment. We all look towards England. <laughs> <laughs> like directionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. We just know which way it is. <laughs> so wait. So everybody, tell me uh, your ideas. Before before we wrap up, <laughs> for for I like what you want, the horned hero, beast hero. I mean, beast hero. <laughs> beast hero. <laughs> beast lord. Beast lord. Uh, Kosuke. Freezer burn. Well, I mean, uh, well, you mean like that was just your like initial one. Fi final decisions for today. Uh, yeah, like what what uh you're gonna tell uh clean night your idea was you start oh, everyone yeah. i mean i guess i guess that's true these also aren't final no no he he your he, feedback he right much... isn't there like a whole like judges yeah he table? there is um so what oh, he's, right. he said is this is yeah. just for today he's he wants you to get comfortable with the idea that you know you got to be named something there's going to be a class lesson later on that is specifically meant for choosing them so you do not have to worry about doing it now it's just so that you don't get shocked when like that when the teacher comes in to teach uh, and you're expected to have like an idea because a lot of the kids in here didn't grow up with the idea that they were ever going to get into the hero course so they never prepared for these days um, yeah he, he goes over um, and you hear a bunch of ideas uh, throughout the room uh, like the uh, the speed claw hero velocity and and uh the five-man hero, uh, where is it? <laughs> Tsuyojur. Um, there's also, like, the jigsaw hero, Puzzleman, uh, and the stick fig hero, uh, stick woman. And then, uh, Nana, she, like, calls it out. She cl he clearly does not listen to her. Um, but the disappearing hero, Misappear. Um, yeah. Iron You Man. know what? I, I do actually have another idea. That I, I I've been liking, but Miss Yoshino, what uh, what is your idea? Well, I'm not too sure on a title yet, but I like the name Vulcan. Vulcan, I like it. And Mr. Kobe and I, I'm, I've heard a lot of discussion coming from this side of the room, and a lot of excitement. Please share with us what you had an idea. Oh my god, he's dead. dead. <laughs> he's just dead as flies coming out of his mouth. 
<laughs> he might be muted. He might have also said, I have to go to the bathroom. Who knows? Alex, are you I did here? not. Oh, okay. What, what, oh. what was your idea? You were so excited. I am Beast Lord! <laughs> you hear some giggles uh, and like a couple like light claps uh, as you share it so extravagantly. Uh, yes, yes, it seems appropriate. And Mr. Ojiro. Uh, I was thinking like freezer burner, frost moon. Ooh, very nice. All right. Uh, and as he kind of like ends, uh, the the he starts beginning to end the class. Um, he like dismisses you all and gives you like some light feedback. Um. Uh, and. Like, it starts getting everyone, uh, he, as it's all, like, beginning to, to come together, he gets near Mitsuru, and Mitsuru goes, I have a headache, I'm going to the nurse. Uh, and, like, gets up and just walks out. It's not much of a name. <laughs> Alright. For real. Mr. Kobanai, Miss Yoshino, he has a slew of health problems, and, oh, okay, goodbye, Mr. Ojiro, have, uh, a wonderful week. And then the door closes. Uh, and that is where we're going to end it for the week. Um, thank you guys so much for adhering to our absolutely wonky schedule. Uh, and honestly, this is our first year that we're going to finish uh, streaming. Not that we're done, but this is the first uh, like time that we're going to go into a new year with our, our wonderful fan base. <laughs> I'd like to thank... Really, all of you guys who are watching at home uh, via stream or on YouTube for an amazing 2022. And and here's to an amazing 2023. We'll be uploading this VOD on New Year's Day. Uh, my name is Grant, otherwise known as Sunlight Yellow. You can find me in the description below. Uh, I'm here with my wonderful, wonderful players, Ichiro Kosuke, Homura, otherwise known as Alex, Alec, and Shay, who can also be found in the description below. Um, pretty soon, we're going to be turning this channel into an even bigger channel for our Demon Slayer D&D and possibly One Piece and Jujutsu D&D. Uh, not that I don't think anyone would play it, but Black Clover D&D as well, if people are willing. Uh, we hope you guys have an amazing, amazing New Year's. We will see you into 2023, and we hope you have uh, an amazing night as well. And to go beyond, uh, as many people have said before in our chat, plus uh, Nectar. Uh, and is there anything, anything at all that I can interrupt our amazing players on before I end this stream for the final time in 2022? I would also like to say plus nectar. <laughs> <laughs>